Uh, Zelensky visited Kherson today. Um, that's the place which is flooded by the partial destruction of the Kakovka Dam as 4,000 people were evacuated, as drones dropped water bottles um, for survivors, dinghies, rafts, and the continued shelling by the Russian artillery. Th this has made the whole expedition um, dramatic, calamitous, historic, uh, poignant, and of course, against his vengeful background. Um, just to take credit for the dam explosion, to cement its signature, the Russians have been shelling Hershon, um, particularly in the immediate aftermath of Zelensky's visit. Um, and I, I, I think they shelled, particularly in the Korobel district, around 2 p.m. The other hindrance to rescue work is the uh, dislodged mines um, that have been carried away by the flood water. Um, but the danger of the mines in the water is mirrored by the fact that the uh, mines along the road, planted along the Crimean roads, have now been equally dislodged, washed away, and the roads um, are therefore now available for the Ukrainian advance into um, Russian-held territory. Meanwhile, the Russian colonel uh, Viniv, Vinivitin, Vinivitin? Vinivitin, Vinivitin, I think his name is, Vinivitin, um, the same drunk man who was captured by the Wagner mercenaries the other day on the 4th of June, a few days ago, has made a video on Russian Telegram accusing Prigozhin of abducting and torturing Russian troops, taking military equipment and vehicles and forcing Russians to sign contracts um, he accused Prigozhin of um, discrediting Russians' armed forces. Well, I think Putin's done that quite well on his own. And um, he told one poignant story about a Russian soldier who killed himself after being raped by the Wagner musicians, by the Wagner mercenaries. Um, it's a violent, vicious uh, scene. And the Russians are certainly coming off uh, there. They're sounding and they're looking appalling and deeply behaving in a deeply reprehensible way.